Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to do an example of the odds in favor of and odds against kind of mathematics. So if someone says the odds in favor of is equal to two-thirds, then you may ask yourself the question, then what is the probability of the event occurring? All right, let's find out how to do that. So the odds in favor of, odds in is equal to the ratio of the probability of the event occurring divided by 1 minus the probability of the event occurring. And notice we're trying to find out what that probability of the event occurring is. So we're going to replace this by 2 thirds. So 2 thirds is equal to the probability of the event occurring divided by 1 minus the probability of the event occurring. All right, now we cross multiply. So we multiply this against that and that against that. So we have two times one minus the probability of the event occurring is equal to three times the probability of the event occurring. And if you don't remember what I just did, notice that you can cross anything across the diagonal when you have two fractions that are equal to each other. So I can multiply the two times this and the three times that and set them equal to each other. So now we get rid of the parentheses. So two minus the probability of the event occurring is equal to three times the probability of the event occurring, like that. So now let's go ahead and move this to the other side. Oh, I met, oh, I have to multiply. This is two minus two times it because the two distributes itself, of course, over both terms inside the parentheses. So now I move this to the other side. So I have two is equal to three times the probability of the event occurring plus two times the probability of the event occurring. Notice when you move something across the equal sign, the sign changes. So two equals five times the probability of the event occurring. So I'm going to switch the equation around. So five times the probability of the event occurring is equal to two. And now we divide both sides by the coefficient in front of what I'm looking for, probability of event occurring. This cancels out. And so coming up here, we can see that the probability of the event occurring probability of the event occurring is equal to 2 over 5, which in decimals is 0 0.4. So the 0 0.4 probability of the event occurring, which of course in percent, 40 percent. So the answer is, if the odds in favor of, let's say winning, is two-thirds, then there's a 40 percent chance that you'll win and a 60 percent chance that you won't win. We're more familiar with this kind of terminology. That seems to make more sense to us. So they can kind of throw something at this at you and say, wow, that looks pretty good. Two thirds is my odds in favor of. Isn't that great? But remember, if it's less than one, the odds are against you. And you can see there's only a 40% probability you'll win and a 60% probability that you'll lose. So this is not necessarily a good number to play with. And that's how we do that.